If you followed the Premier League at all last season, you know one of the big stories was the struggles of Manchester City. At one point, they weren't even the top four or five, and you know things were going badly. Will Pep Guardiola ever win again? You know, cue the headlines. Is City burned out? Will they make the Champions League? Some people were saying Pep is finished. A lot of people were ready to throw out everything we knew about this great team. But a good prior isn't about loyalty, it's about fundamentals. Sure, City had lost the reigning Ballon d'Or winner. Yes, they had an injury crisis in defense, but they still had Erling Holland, they still had Kevin De Bruyne, they still had Ruben Diaz and Manuel Akanji, who, when healthy, are one of Europe's best center back pairings. Their squad was still worth close to a billion dollars, and they still had Pep Guardiola, who watched his marriage fall apart, apparently stopped eating, was living at the Etihad over Christmas, doing everything he could to turn this around. That's a strong prior. Also, for City to actually miss out on the Champions League, you'd need to believe that four other teams would finish above them. So Liverpool, sure, after January, that was pretty much a given. Arsenal, almost surely, although they did their best to bottle it and let City take second to the very last minute. But then who? Spurs, United, unlikely given the seasons they were having. So that leaves you hoping for like Chelsea, Nottingham Forest, and Villa to all finish ahead of City at the end of May. You'd have to update your prior beliefs pretty aggressively and believe in a lot of unlikely outcomes to make that forecast. Sure enough, City stormed back, finished third, three points behind Arsenal, and this is exactly what a good Bayesian model would have told you. 